Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are present in the Lord's sanctuary one more time. We gather this evening at this most significant, special, sacred, spiritual time. It is what we traditionally call the Lord's Supper. It is the receiving time of the Holy Communion. It is this time where we remember what the Lord has done for us. He remembered us, but we are to also remember him. And Jesus said, the way to remember me is by coming together in whatever form or fashion you can. And receive even so those symbols of salvation. It could be bread, it could be crackers, it could be wafers, whatever you're using to symbolize the body of the Lord. And to receive the cup that is a symbol of salvation that holds his blood, that cleanses us from all of our sin. What can wash away my sins? What can make me whole again? The answer is nothing but the blood of Jesus. So as we gather on this Lord's day this evening, we're reminded of what the Holy Scriptures share with us. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we deemed, did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. We are all like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. These words spake Jesus, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may also glorify thee if thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him and this is life eternal that they may know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent I have glorified thee on earth says Jesus, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Father, we thank you right now that your Son and our Savior was obedient to your plan, to your purpose, and even so, to help bring about the pardon of our sin, rather than us spending our eternity in everlasting punishment. Thank you, Lord, that he committed to do what you sent him to do. He carried it out 
all of the 33 years of his life, even to the very end, as he breathed his last breath and exhaled and said, into thy hands, I commend my spirit. Thank you right now that Jesus didn't quit on us like we sometimes quit on him, but he went all the way. He stayed the course. He died for our sin that we might have a right even so to the tree of life. We thank you right now for our Savior. We thank you right now for our salvation. We thank you right now for this service, oh God, of remembrance, where we could demonstrate our remembrance, even so, of him who redeemed us and who gave his life freely that we might be able to have life and to have it more abundantly. As we worship this day and we receive these symbols of salvation, may they restore and strengthen and renew and refresh us, even so, Lord, in our faith. Thank you in Jesus' name is our prayer. Amen. We'll hear from our song ministry, and after hearing from them, we will proceed to receiving, even so, the Lord's Supper and the Holy Communion. God bless you. Let's share with them in song.
We are reminded again, he was wounded not for his transgressions, but for our transgressions. He was bruised not because of his own iniquities, but because of our iniquities. The chastisement that would bring about our peace with God was laid upon him. That simply means that he took the whooping for us. I can't remember a time when I offered to take a whooping for my brothers or my sister. Can't remember a time. But Jesus, our elder brother, our Lord and our Savior, took the chastisement took the whooping that should have been directed toward us, demonstrated and carried out on us, dealt to us. He took it on our behalf. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Nobody took his life. He laid it down. Nobody forced him to die. He voluntarily died. Thank God for Jesus. For what he didn't have to do, he did. He did it for my good and not for his greatness because he was great before he died. And he was as great after he died as he was before he died. He was as great before he died as after he died. So he didn't do it to make a name for himself, but he did it so my name could end up somewhere in the Lamb's Book of Life. So I could be saved, so I could be Converted so I could be born again. So I could spend eternal life with God, eternity with God, and not be eternally separated from God. And so it is because I remember him who remembered me. I come to this day, I come to this moment, I come to this time, ready to receive once more and again the symbols of my own salvation and it is his bread his body and so it is let's receive now the bread whatever we have as a symbol of his body let's be prepared to receive it right now in remembrance of him You know what all transpired on that day in the upper room as Jesus sat with his disciples after he had taken the bread and he blessed it, he broke it, they received it, and they ate it. And that's what we've just done. But it wasn't over with yet. He took a cup, he took the chalice, that was filled with the fruit of the vine. And so he likewise lifted it up before the Father and he blessed it and then he gave it to his disciples. 
and said, Drink ye all of it. For this is the new covenant between heaven and earth, between God and you. It is the new testament, the new promise. It is the new contract in my blood, written in my blood, sealed in my blood. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And let me tell you something. Wherever the blood is, death angels pass over. Wherever the blood covers, death angels pass over. Wherever the blood is, life stays and remains. Thank God for the blood. And Jesus said, as often even so, through the Apostle Paul, as you drink this cup, we show our remembrance of him until he comes. Let's remember him according to what he has given to us in the Holy Scripture. Amen. And now that we've supped, y'all can't go out singing unless you're going to go out though. We're going to go out singing because we're going to leave the sanctuary. Jesus then left and went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Why don't you just go on and join in with us and we'll just sing, even if you don't go nowhere, but from one room to another. I know it was the blood, my Lord. I know it was the blood, my Lord. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, said son, died upon the cross. I know it was the blood. Amen. 